One of my favorite things to do in AppScript is to apply custom formatting. So I spend a lot of my life in Google Sheets and the ability to have a format that I can just run from the menu and it formats my whole sheet saves me a lot of time. And this is numeric formatting along with style formatting. So I'm just gonna run a McDonald's style here, which is the McDonald's colors. And then I can run a Coca-Cola style here, which is the Coca-Cola colors. And I can remove this formatting with another function called remove formatting. I'm doing this in AppScript, so let's go to AppScript and show you how to do it. So we'll go to App Script in here. First thing we want to do is get the range of what we want to format. So in previous videos, we've gone through this. We're getting the active spreadsheet, getting the active sheet, getting the last row and getting the last column. Using these just makes our formatting dynamic. And we're going to get the range of this which is the header. So we want to go one, one, start at one, one, then go to the last column and then the first row. So one, 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 last column. Now we have a header range. We can then apply formatting straight to that header range. So the first function is set background. I'm going to set this to a hex code, which is E0, E0, E0. You can either put a color name in here or find the hex code for that color. Next thing I want to do is I want to set a font weight. So elements in the font weight are like bold, italic and underline. It's a header. So I want to set it to bold. So I'm setting that font weight bold. Now I want to pick a style for the font. And to do this, it's called font family. And um, so I pick font family here and the font family I want to choose is Roboto. And that'll just change this to Roboto font. And I want to then set a font color. So that's just font color. And again, you can use a hex code in here or you can use the color itself. And then finally, I want to set a horizontal alignment. So this is aligning left, center or right. I'm going to set this to left. And now what I can do is I can run this just to show you what this looks like. So I'm going to run this and it's coming up with an error. What I did is I put font families instead of font family. Going to run this again and now it's run properly back out into the spreadsheet. And you can see that my style has been applied and my header has been left aligned. On to the next part here, I'm going to format the data. So I have to get the range of the data. So I'm putting in a const data range equals sheet dot get range. And this time what I want to do is start from row two because I want to skip the header. Start on row two, column one, go to last row minus one and then finally go to last column and this just makes it dynamic so whatever shape my data is in it'll always format it the same and at this one quickly set the font family to roboto font color to that hex code and set the background to white gonna run this and now you can see this change in real time to that font other things I can do is I can format a specific column. In this case, my column number five is my value column. And I want to format this with a specific currency format. So I'm going to get range two, which is skipping my header, the sales column, which is five, last row minus one and just one column, right? So I'm only going to one column. So it's only highlighting that column. And on that column, I'm setting a number format. And these are regular expressions for the number format. Uh, I'll set a link down that you can look them up. But this one is dollar hash comma hash hash zero dot zero. And I always have to look these up. So I'll send that sheet in the description. And the last thing I want to do, which I always do is sheet dot auto resize columns from the first to the last column. And I'll show you why this is useful. If I pull these into um, hidden and I run this, this will resize my column so everything can be viewed. And you see this a lot of times when you get data on a Google sheet. So last thing I want to do is I want to show you how to set alternate backgrounds. So I'm doing a for loop in here. I'm starting from the second row. And what I want to do is I want to turn all odd rows into a light gray. So even rows, I'm setting the background to white and odd rows, I'm setting that background to light gray. And I'm just going to run this to show you what that format does. To create a custom menu to hold this, you need to do a function on open spreadsheet.getUI, create a menu create a sub menu and then add an item company style and the function name and then dot add to UI. This is boilerplate and I'll just show you when I refresh this, this function comes up called company style. And when I run this, it applies the function. Now I kind of want to show you some of the other styles that I've been building. I've added all these styles into my on open to so the McDonald's and Coca-Cola and remove formatting on the Coca-Cola. All that I've changed here is a couple of the fonts and backgrounds. The alternative rows are white and light gray and then the column index is different in terms of that number formatting. Same at McDonald's, put in a McDonald's yellow here and then 
then I've set that font different and then the alternative rows a lighter yellow and then the currency format is slightly different as well. To remove the formatting, what you need to do is get the range of the entire sheet instead of getting specific for header and body and then just range.clear format will clear all of that. And this removes the format completely. And just to show you again, the McDonald's style and this change it to McDonald's style and it's the Coca-Cola style and this has changed to Coca-Cola style. I have the entire code for this out on GitHub. And if you put this into your sheet, this will auto format with these styles. So you can just copy and paste this in and you're good to go. I hope you found this video useful. Follow for more.